Calling 892 heavy turn right Alpha 3, taxi to parking via Alpha 3, this frequency. Alpha 3, it's parking Southgate, this freak point 892, good evening. Are you sure my dad's back there? He hasn't said I think he is. He's back there in first class. And you can tell him since you're the captain, uh, no complaining, turn your cell phone off, and then uh, you'll give him the briefing when we're airborne, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is your uh, Captain Luke speaking and all that sort of things. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> you got that? Yep. All right. All right. Let's give him a shout. By the way, our, our airplane number is that 9533 Delta. So when you can hear me, I'm pushing this button over here. It looks like a go to guns button, like I'm shooting stuff on Microsoft Light Sim type thing. Yeah, it's just a microphone button, yeah. Yeah, tower Cessna nine five three two Delta four ready for takeoff westbound. Does this one have Cessna nine five three two Delta pain tower SA position on the field? There at Alpha Four. Whoa, this one has it. Cessna nine five three two Delta traffic transitioning from east to west at the departure end of runway one six right. Runway one six right at Alpha Four. Clear for takeoff westbound departure approved. Wind two one zero seven. Okay, one six right at Alpha Four. Clear for takeoff three three Delta. Thanks. Okay, so we're clear for de takeoff. So I kind of shove this Pain thing forward. Fox trots now current. And then Austin down here, see this this thing that says strobe? Yeah. Turn that on. Flip it up. And flip on the one next to it. This one. The other way, the left, left side, five, six, Charlie, just and the one next to that, one, six, right. clear and the, the one next to that. At seven. Cool. Now you got the lights on. We got this transponder on here, and again, we're going to take off that, that way, way, but you want to look that way to make sure that nobody landed, right? Yep. Cool. So you can put, put your left hand on that side, put your right hand right here, just right above mine. And remember, I'm steering with my feet still, but now we come out here and start shoving that forward. Go ahead. Slowly push it, slowly push it forward. I'm steer, still steering with my feet. That's not 3 8 Echo, forget to change your bridge. But as the airplane starts getting faster, these can become more effective now. See where it says about 55 knots on that, so let's pull back a little bit. Pull back a little more. A little more. Boom, we're airborne, man. We're flying. It's cool. Okay. Good job. We are up. Roger. Woo! So then you see how we're kind of hovering around 70 knots. See that airspeed right there? So, you know. Cardinal three four six. How you do a takeoff in this? Pretty pretty simple stuff. Now we're going to climb up to a thousand feet. When that guy gets up to here, we're going to make a right hand turn and head out towards the water. All right. Yeah, help. No, you're the one. You're flying it, man. Go ahead and put your hand on there. Now go ahead and turn to the right. Cessna seven three nine or Bravo Tango Payne Tower Roger number two for departure. Number two seven three nine or Bravo Tango. Nice turn, man. You're the one flying the airplane. Now what? Do I have Hands to go off. back? No, just keep going. Keep going to the right a little bit more. We're perfect on the on the pullback part because we have the airspeed that we want for the climb. If you pulled the nose back anymore, you know, back on that, it would go up, and then we would start to lose the airspeed. So go ahead and now straighten it out. Smooth flying skills here, my friend. Now you can go ahead and push forward on the wheel. On this? Yep, exactly. And that pushes it now. Stop right there. Oh, perfect. Yep, perfect. Yep, six, yep. Traffic departing runway one at six right. You have heard of a G, one, right? No, oh, there's a little bit in here, but remember, if you're like going to be an airline guy, yeah. you yeah. don't want to like be G and out the passengers <laughs> there. I mean, you could, but you might, <laughs> might get a complaint for first class. Today. Inbound from the southwest. Helicopter northbound along the shoreline altitude indicates 1,700 about Where? three and a half miles southwest of the field. North? Helicopter traffic in sight. Cardinal Looking for that guy. He should be over there. I see him. He's in the northwest. Got well. oh. that guy down there? I see him. Cool. Uh, I see him. Yep, right there. Now in what? Cool. So what we'll do is we're going to climb up to 2,000 feet here. And we're going to go ahead and then we're going to level off. And we'll kind of go up here and fly Airless around this five. area. Disregard traffic call, no factor. Airless five. Actually, do a little flight down to the south. If you want, go ahead and turn to the left. See that, see that boat in the middle of the water? Warrior traffic on the upwind see on the that big boat in the middle of the water? Alpha five, clear for takeoff. Just aim North for that guy. Departure. Perfect. Stop the turn right about there and roll out. Really nice, man. Fly smooth. 
paint tower car call over number oh, yeah, 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 that's this little gizmo down there. So we're 2,000 Roger, feet, you, so you can go ahead and we'll just kind of push that nose over a little bit. You push this forward? Yep, just a little bit. Skyhawk 73321, perfect. paint tower runway 1 at 6 left. So that's absolutely off, perfect. I'll call your westbound turn. And we'll go ahead and adjust the power Good for thing. a cruise power setting. Yeah, we'll just go out here a little bit farther. We'll make some turns to the left and the right. Awesome. Yeah, it's very cool. You're doing a nice job, man. I hope you're doing the landing. Oh, yeah. I'll help you out. <laughs> okay, <on> good. <laughs> so see how this thing keeps going up a little bit? It's kind of going to 2200. Just go ahead and push the nose forward a little bit. Yeah, exactly. You see, this This is the thing that tells you if you're going up and down. It's vertical speed. And it tells you if you're climbing or if you're descending. Well, zero means you're not climbing or descending. Uh, if it goes down Airlift 500, traffic, it means you're descending at like 500 feet a minute. And if it's going up, see right now we're climbing like 50 feet, 100 feet a minute. So you kind of can see what's going to happen. So if you want to go back down to 2,000 feet, just kind of, okay, I'm at 2,200 feet. You look at that, and you go ahead and just push the nose forward, and that will kind of help you out. Yeah, yeah and, it'll, and, it'll, and it'll make the nose go down, and it'll get you back down to 2,000 feet. Skyhawk 321, traffic departed runway 1. Yeah, very cool. Place. See, that was about like, there's 500 feet a minute, you know? Cool. Let's uh, make a right turn now and go over here. It's just beautiful out here today. Tell me when to stop. Uh, right there. Stop the turn. We'll go out. There's an airport out here. We'll go do a we'll go do a landing at, and then we'll turn around and head back to the airport, you know? A landing? Yeah, we'll do a landing. There's an airport over here that we'll kind of go down and do a little landing at. It's kind of fun. What do you do? He gets I'll it, show Tommy. You. I'll show you how it works. Is it like a buzzing it? Watching his vertical speed and everything. It's, it's yeah, I know. It's cool. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's focused on this stuff. It's good. It's not, not like a buzz job. Oh, that would be awesome if we flew yeah. by. Well, you can, yeah, but uh, old Captain Scott might get in trouble for doing a buzz job. So. <laughs> this is awesome. That's pretty cool, man. So you decided you want to be an airline pilot, huh? Yeah. When did you figure that one out? I don't know. Just did, huh? Yep. That's pretty cool. I was your age. That's I knew I wanted to do the same thing, man. It's cool. It'll it'll work out for you if you're if you're the age you are now and you're starting to fly and you fly really nice. Uh, He's a better pilot than I am. Yeah, no, I was gonna say. He, he I gets, wasn't even gonna bring that. Up. <laughs> yes, God. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just kind of looking around out here. Kind of take a look to the left, and then you want to look over this way. And then back around here and just see if you see any airplanes out here. And I don't see any. Would um, you report them for yeah, us? Yeah, we, no, they won't out here because we're not really, we're just kind of flying visually. And everyone else out here is flying visually as well. So what, what we're going to do is, I'll show you something real quick. I'll demonstrate it. You, you can see what happens. Go ahead and make the airplane turn to the left. And I'll tell you when to stop the turn. Turning, keep turning, keep turning. Now see, watch this vertical speed indicator, watch it. If you, all of a sudden it starts to descend, right? And the reason that is because when the airplanes, you can go ahead and roll out straight ahead. Perfect. You can see what happens is when both wings are flying nice and straight, you got equal, equal lift on each wing. When you make this turn, go ahead and turn back to the right. When you make a turn, Kind of lose some of that lift because it's not going through the air straight. Plus, the airplane's going a little bit slower when you make a turn. So that so what happens is that the nose starts to drop off, and you start to lose altitude. So what you have to do? So do I go back? Yeah. So what, yeah, go ahead and go straight here. So I'll show you what you got to do. Hey, take a look. See any submarines coming down here? There's the nuke submarine base right down there. So okay. So let's take a look. And again, we're clear on the right. So let's go ahead and when you make that right hand turn pull back on the control wheel. So go ahead and start that turn. And as you're in the turn, now start pulling that back towards you. And it keeps the nose, it keeps the nose from descending and from you losing altitude. It takes a while to get used to it, but you, you already just nailed it by not losing any altitude on that turn. I mean, that's really what it's all about. Go ahead and make a turn back to the left. And you'll see it. Okay, there it goes, it's starting to descend, so pull back on the control wheel a little bit, and it'll stop that descent. Pretty cool stuff, man. See how that works? Yep. Yeah, yeah, very nice, very nice. Cool. So, then the other thing, here, I'll show you a couple other things. We're cruising along here, 
Remember I was telling you, this shows how fast the propeller is going, right? Yeah. So we got this relationship between how fast the propeller is spinning and how fast the airspeed is. So go ahead and take this thing and go ahead and increase the power. Go ahead and start shoving that forward. You'll see that RPM increase. Keep pushing it forward. You can push. It takes a little bit of pressure to get it in. Okay. Got that increase. Now the airspeed's going to go faster because you gave the engine more power. The propeller's spinning faster, so the thing's going to go faster. So that's how that works. So see how we're going like 100 and knots right now. So let's go ahead and pull this power back to where it says 2,000. Where's 2,000? Uh, that 2,0. Two Can I keep pulling back? Yeah, right till it gets to 2,000. Now the airplane slows down, but it also wants to go down because you don't have all that power. So what you gotta do is pull back on the control wheel to maintain that altitude. One thing that's really nice in this airplane is I know it probably takes a little pressure to hold that wheel back. See this thing down here, my hand's on it? Yeah. That's called a trim wheel. Got to take your hand and push pull down on that trim wheel. Go ahead and just keep pulling down on that. You see that what it's doing is it's trimming the nose up. See how we're climbing? Now go ahead and push it the other way. Spin it, spin it forward the other way. Whoa, that was weird. Yeah. And what that does is it, it makes it so it's not, you don't have all this control pressure. I'll fly the airplane for a second. I got the airplane. I'll trim it out for you. So, and we'll increase, right, let me call these guys up here. Hey, Jefferson County Traffic, Skyhawk 9533, Delta 10 South, inbound, field advisory. Where are they? We're going up here. Whoa, where did the airport go? Hard to see it. The one we took off from is way back there. Oh, okay. So anyhow, the nose wants to go down. You have to you go ahead and grab the control. Now watch what happens. The nose is going to go down. To make that so it doesn't do that, take that trim wheel and make it go a couple swipes down. Yep, maybe one more. And it makes the airplane a lot easier to fly instead of having to either really hold forward or hold back. At Jefferson County Traffic, Skyhawk 9533 Delta is uh, four south inbound, entering and right downwind for nine. Okay, now it's not really easy to see, but there's actually, see those buildings right in front of us? The there's an airport the down there, if you can believe it. It's the, a small one, okay. The clear cut buildings? Yeah, I see that guy on traffic. So let's go ahead and turn to the right just a little bit. Go ahead and take this power and start pulling it back. We're gonna slow that engine down. And when it slows down, we're going to go down. See how we're going down? See, in this case, we want to go down. We want to lose altitude because we want to get to this airport, out the field, uh, tra traffic pattern altitude of this airport. So what we're going to do is when we come in here, I'll, sh I'll show you how this works. I'll let you steer it until we get a little bit lower, then I'll, I'll take control. And when I take control, I'll just say, I have control. Okay. Just, yeah, just take your hands off this stuff. So anyhow, what we're doing, the PIC, exactly. So mixture is coming rich. We'll go ahead and pull a little bit more power out. That's annoying radio there. Okay, so, and then again, Jefferson County, automated advisory. Hey, are looking around. Yeah, it's an automated thing. It tells you what the altimeter is and the winds. So. We've been flying for half an hour? Yeah, I think so. Whoa. So we'll go ahead and turn left. Go down that way. And Jefferson County traffic sky 9533 Delta. It's uh, right 45 down on the runway 9. Jefferson County. So. Do I even you out now? That? Yep. Now we're going to level out so we're not losing. Or go ahead and, I mean, uh, pull back so we're not losing altitude. But continue flying in that direction down there. Over the water? Yep. Exactly. So keep turning. I'll tell you when to stop turning. Uh, right there, perfect. Traffic, so we're going to land this thing and we're going to come to a full stop. Where are we landing it? See that down there? Oh, That's yeah, I it. see the road. Yeah, yeah. The runway that looks like a road? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe it is a road. I hope it's an airport. We'll find out soon enough. So, okay. Okay. so I'm going to start pulling the power back. 
the airspeed's gonna get slower. Whoa, I'm gonna look at how slow some that's going. Collapse in there. So look again, how slow that's going. looking out here, make sure there's no one coming in from there, no one coming in from there. You're always looking outside, you know, to make sure that there's nobody coming in the direction. Are you in here. control now? Uh, you can hang onto the controls with me, all the way down. So. There's that. We're slowing the airplane down. I'm going to slow it down even more. Okay, that's just creepy. <laughs> that's cool stuff, man. This is the most fun part of the flight. No, it's creepy how slow it's going. Oh, yeah. Jefferson, traffic, uh, Sky 9533, Delta's uh, right base. Nine. Mm -hmm. So now we're going 70. See that speed? Now we're going to line up with the runway. Is that 70 miles per hour? 70 knots. Uh, oh. Miles an hour is a little bit faster. So now we're lined up with the runway. Yeah, and you can beat the PRC now. You can hold on to the controls if you want. No well, thanks. Right. I don't want to screw anything up. Oh, uh, you're not, man. You're fine. Whoa. Yeah, we're here. A little, little sinker right there. 70, and then I'll start slowing it down. About 65. A little sinkhole right there. Right about there. That's how you land that baby. We gotta slow down. <laughs> yeah, we'll just roll down to the end of the runway here. It's just, it's a little easier on the brakes, you know. To make that turn off back there, I gotta smack the brakes pretty good. Have you have you ever had someone go off the runway? Uh, I never have, fortunately. But, but yeah, I've seen guys. Ever... I've seen guys do it. Well, look at this big skid mark right here. I don't know how that, I don't know how that guy wound up, but it looks like not that good. Not, might have been very good at all, yeah. So we're at the end of the runway, and then I get on the radio and tell these guys kind of that we're clear of the uh, runway, so they don't have to keep looking for it. And uh, Jefferson County traffic, Skyhawk nine five three three Delta is clear, runway nine. 